What's up music managers, in this video we'll talk about what to do if your music or the music you manage is uh, uploaded to streaming services uh, throughout your permission. This happens as a result of various uh, fraudulent schemes, I will make a separate video on this topic. It also can be caused by misunderstandings uh, between people uh, involved in the writing or recording the music. If you have already identified one of the cases of a violation of your copyright and master rights, you can request the identified material be removed from all digital platforms and streaming services, so that the scammer uh, does not earn on your work. You can request the takedown in four ways. Option number one uh, will be to contact the artist on behalf of whom their music was uploaded. To do this you need to find his contacts or pages on social networks and request the removal of music from digital platforms. This method has both pros and cons. The upside is that you don't have to prove the act of committing a fraud and if this artist gets in touch with you, he most likely won't deny his guilt. The downside is that the removal can take a long time as the scammer can play for time. It is also worth understanding that scammers don't have presence in social media in most cases so it will be difficult or impossible to get in touch with them. Option number two is to contact the record label that released the music. The label name can often be found on the release page on the streaming service, like in this example. Next you need to find the contacts of this record label and send them a request to remove the content. Option number three is to contact the distributor that uploaded the music to the uh, streaming services uh, with a request to remove the content. In order to determine the distributor, there are two methods uh, known to me so far. The first way is to look at information on YouTube. If you find at least one video on YouTube that contains a new version of your track, in the description of the video you will see who uploaded this version. Here's an example. The second way is to look up distributor information on Juxta. Juxta is a database of music credits. Many distributors deliver music credits uh, to this service. We go to Juxta's website and in the search bar we write the name of the track that violates your copyright. If we are lucky, we will find this track in the database and information about it. Here we can see who uploaded this information about the track to Juxta. If you know our ways to determine a distributor, write about it in the comments. Once you have identified the distributor, you need to contact that company and submit a takedown request. In this case, you need to provide a link to your track and to the track that violates your copyright, as well as your contact information. The distributor will most likely remove uh, content that violates your rights from the streaming services in a short time period and block account of the scammer uh, and all funds on his balance. Further, the distributor will ask the fraudster for evidence confirming the rights to distribute the content. If the fraudster cannot provide this evidence, then he may be warned or the contract with him may be terminated, without the possibility of withdrawing funds. In the course of verifying the information provided by you, the distributor may ask you to prove that uh, you own this content or the rights to it. My advice, if you work with uh, beat makers, performers and session musicians, always sign license agreements. These agreements uh, will just help you in such situations. I talked about our ways how you can uh, prove the rights to music in a separate video, the link will be in the description. You also need to be aware that if you provide false information in your request, this may lead to penalties for perjury if you are sued. 
So if you have intentions to harm innocent copyright holders, I advise you to abandon this idea. Option number four is to contact one of the streaming services. Large digital platforms like Spotify and Apple Music have special takedown request forms, often referred to as DMCAs. Links to these forms will be in the description of this video. I used to think that it is necessary to write uh, such requests to all streaming uh, services and each streaming service will uh, remove uh, releases uploaded uh, by scammers from its database. But actually it's necessary to send a request to only one service. Further, this service will redirect the request to the distributor through which this music was uploaded, and you already know what will happen next. Distributors may suffer from this method as the streaming services may lower this distributor in its rating which will affect delivery times and financial conditions. For reasons of professional ethics, it is worth trying to resolve the issue of removal of content first with the distributor, record label or artist who uploaded the content. By the way, I run a Telegram channel where I post news from the world of music distribution. If you are interested in this topic, subscribe, the link will be in the description. Let's move on to the next action you can take regarding the scammer, and that's charging royalties for the period of time while the content was on digital platforms. You can apply this measure only to a fraudster, if he can be identified, of course. You can make a request for financial statements and, based on the information received, request the payment of royalties. If the scammer refuses this option, you are left with the option of filing a lawsuit. And as an additional measure, you can try to get the rights to the new version of your track that has been uploaded to a streaming services. It could be a remix, a slow down version and so on. This is worth doing if this uh, version has gained a significant number of plays or views on digital platforms. Once you have obtained the rights to this rework, you can transfer it to the distributor you work with and re-upload it to digital platforms. Thus, you will begin to receive passive income. That's all I have. I hope this video was useful to you. My name is Mikhail Mazonov and you are on Misha Steve's uh, channel where I talk all about music management. See you in the next video. Bye!